Alrighty. Hi everyone. So I'm on my new camera that I got for Christmas because I told my parents that I'm going to be doing more YouTube videos for everyone and I needed a camera instead of my phone. But my phone was working great. But I'm so excited that I got my um, Canon camera to do more videos for you guys. Per requested, I am going to be doing a full face makeup of like what I do every day. It's going to be quick and easy. Um, today I was making <laughs> making me and my boyfriend a chicken salad or chicken salad, and he was going to work and he was in the bathroom getting ready and stuff. And I was out here just going to town, chopping everything up. And you know that moment where you realize. I think I might cut myself when I'm going to cut this piece, but I'm just going to go for it because I was in that mode. I was cutting. I was going crazy. And because he was um, not running late for work, but I always get anxiety because he like is leaving at 10 or uh, like 1050 when he has to be there at like 11. Me as a person, I'm like, I am ready 30 minutes before I have to go to work. That's just me. I'm always ready, like, way early in advance. And he's the total opposite. And he's fine with getting to work. But this time, he was a little late because I, while I was cutting the chicken, I literally sliced my finger open, um, kind of like my fingertip and part of my finger right here um so that wasn't fun at all he was in the bathroom and I was at the sink just like holding it and squeezing it because I like couldn't voice anything and say but babe so I was just holding it over the sink and he finally came out here and he was like what's wrong what's wrong and he went full like doctor on me so he brought out his like first aid kit and doctored me all up but I was like dang it I wanted to do a full face today and show everyone what I do because I know I've been um, getting a lot of requests for that so here I am all bandaged up and I'm still gonna do it it might be a little slower than usual but we'll get through it here with my bubbly um, grapefruit bubbly mm. A1 and it's still like throbbing it kind of hurts but we'll get through it we'll get through it together first product I'm going to be using is the milk makeup nothing is gonna be really changing from my Sephora um, haul that I did so milk makeup uh, hydro grip primer I'm used to using my index finger on the other hand but we'll just have to deal so I just rub it in. I use a very little amount because this guy goes a very, very long way. And it has lasted me a while. I'm only halfway through since the last time I did a make a video with you guys. I usually let that sit in. So you make your primer sit in for a good, like, mm, three to five minutes. Let it soak in, just like when you're doing skincare as well. So now I am going to be, just for the sake of the video, going straight into, well, eyebrows. I'll do eyebrows while it sinks in. This is the Focus Winky Lux Brow. My cousin gave me this, and I'm actually really loving it. This guy, um, super easy to use. Just gonna comb this up. I believe w Winky Lux is at um, Target. I will list everything below like I always do. So I just comb through my eyebrows, throw in a little color because your girl has, okay, this is kind of hard to do it in the camera. So I'm gonna do it on my um, mirror and let you guys see the process. So like, that's all I'm going to do. Um, drew it in a little bit and see how this one's a little lighter. Going to do the same thing to the other guy. I'm doing this video. One of the persons that asked me to do this is my Aunt Natasha. And she comes to me with all... Ooh, that looks all crazy on camera. <clears throat> Let me brush through it. She comes to me with all the makeup questions and stuff, and I love it. I, I can sit there and talk to her for hours, and she'll, like, take notes of it. And so this past Christmas, she was asking me a bunch of questions about makeup, and um, she was writing down notes and, and taking pictures of my stuff that I had. So I get a call from her the next day, and she is... <laughs> 
at Macy's like buying the makeup that I told her to get. So she didn't didn't waste a second. She went the next day, got the makeup. So I'm doing this video so she can see it and I'll help her through it so she has something to reference. So this is partially why I'm doing it for my Aunt Natasha. Okay. My Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. A lot of people will wet it. I find that when I wet it the first time um, and I squeeze it out, it'll still stay a little soft as the, the next couple of days go by. So I never, I don't always wet it because I find that kind of ucky if you're wetting a sponge. Just like you wet your um, dish sponge. Let me just say what I'm doing right here. Um, concealer. This is the e.l.f. Concealer. Hydrate Concealer. I barely put any because a lot goes a long way when it comes to um, concealer. You don't want it to be too heavy. I'm getting used to this camera, so if I keep on looking up at where my little screen is, sorry about that, I'm just getting used to it. Um, I'll get better. I'm going in with my Lancome, old trusty Lancome foundation. Let's see. Um, don't know how to pronounce all those words, but yeah, I'll link everything, just like I say. I just do a couple squirts, literally maybe one and a half pumps. For my entire face plop it on like so if I feel like I want more I will go in but start off with a little bit so you don't end up with the cakey face don't forget about your under nose don't forget about the crease by your nose and then with my leftover makeup, I will go ahead and literally go like this. You want to blend to no end. Okay, so that's how the base looks. I am liking it because then I will go in and set the base. So I'll show you what I'm going to be setting it with. It's technically setting it with a, another like foundation powder in a way. Um, the Fit Me. Ooh, I need more, but this stuff is so cheap. This is my favorite powder. And so many girls talk about it. Like all the makeup girls on YouTube talk about it. So they got me onto this. So I will have a packed brush just like this. And I'll go in with it and pat my foundation down. When you're patting your foundation down with a packed brush like this, you are making sure that it ain't going nowhere. You can go out on the town with your girlfriends. You can go on a um, hot summer lunch date, you know, and it will be stay in place. I, this Lancome foundation, I swear by it. And I tell all of my family members, if they ask me about foundation, I'm like, I don't even give them options. I'm like, girlfriend, go get the Lancome one. Eventually, I know I'll want to like switch up my makeup game and find another foundation. But when you find that foundation that you love, like, you can't leave it. That's how my base looks. Very... Seamless, kind of airbrushed in a way. This is really getting on my nerves. Gosh. Okay, but we're we're gonna do it. We are doing it. Okay. Fluffy Jaclyn Hill brush. I'll list all my brushes that I use below. You want to start off very lightly with your bronzer. Start right here. Way in the back, you wanna start in the back with your darkest and blend out. The reason why I love these fluffy brushes is that there's no mistake with this thing. You can, you're warming up your face right now. Little goes a long way, see? Little bit, I just use a little bit and I knock it off.
NARS knows how to do their blushes. They are the best blush formula that I have personally tried. I have this in the shade Amore. Super pretty. Okay. Again, also this is the angled brush by Jaclyn Hill. Come on, focus. There we go. Angled like that. So it's easy to go on your cheek. Dip a little bit in there. I know people make fun of this, but it's legit. You get the excess off. Just a little tad. Don't be annoying with it. So, and I will start at the apples of my cheek and bring it up. Angled brush makes it nice to where you're literally sweeping up in this motion. And I stay like that with um, blush. I don't add a lot because then you'll start looking a little floozy. No offense to the girls out there that love their blush. They can pull it off. My white face can't. So, all, all my products when I use on my face, all my um, blushes, bronzers, highlights, I am going to be going up in this way. Swooping up. That is going to make your face look sculpted in a way and I have the rounder face and the rounder cheek so I, I want to try to make them sculpted as much as I can. So now I'm going to go in with my highlighting brush. Highlighting brush by Jaclyn Hill. I'll give the, I got the whole kit by her because I loved all her brushes and I've had them for about a year and a half, two years. Hourglass, ambiance, ambient, ambient I think. My gosh, I need to get better with this um, focusing. <laughs> Hourglass, ambient, beautiful highlighter. I love it. Just going to, oh, that shine is beautiful. So highlighter, start right here. I say at the end of your eye, dust it and make a C shape going up. End of your eye. C shape going up. Okay, normal day, I will just go in with either my Mario um, eyeshadow palette or if my bronzer is close to me, I will literally go in with bronzer and I will put it on my eyelid just to give it a little bit of definition to my eye to make it so usually your eyelids are going to be all well, my eyelids are white as can be just because my foundation is so it will be um, all white like this one no definition all I did was put my bronzer in the crease and there's definition in the eye and that's what we want to do we want to portray the lines and make everything look more defined to enhance your beauty not to make yourself beautiful because Makeup just enhances your beauty because you're already beautiful. In God's eyes and in everyone's eyes. That's how it should be. I swear my grandma, she was always the type that would literally just stare at me and be like, you're so beautiful, you're so beautiful. Did anyone tell you you're beautiful? God made you beautiful. You need someone like that in your life. Like my grandma was my biggest fan. I loved her. Um, she always made me feel my best. So now, finishing it up, I did my base. Have a perfect base, you have the perfect face. So my base, that was so cheesy. Um, so base is my main thing when it comes to my makeup, and then I'll go for eyes. Um, I'm gonna be going in with the Isla mascara that my boyfriend got me for my birthday, but it was in like the beauty lovers. Ooh focus the type of brush where it's super spiky so it will go for every single eyelash you have on your eyelid it's very very nice right now just gonna go in oh and grab every eyelash and pull it up and don't worry if you get eye um, mascara on your um, eyelid I'll show you my trick. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys my trick in my other video, Sephora video, but I will remind you because it's so easy and it's my favorite thing in the world. Um, also, the reason I have longer eyelashes like this 
Um, I always used to have like shorter eyelashes, but I've been using the Rodan Lash Boost, Rodan and Fields Lash Boost Serum. I use it every night. I have got to the length that I've liked, so now I use it whenever I remember. Um, but that stuff works so amazing. I thought I would never have long eyelashes, but I'm using that Rodan Lash Boost. It freaking works. Okay. Just going in with my buxom lip to add a little bit of cuteness to this look. And we'll do it. The cute faces you make when you do your makeup look. So yeah, that is going to be it guys. Go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and I'll be doing more videos like this. I love makeup. I love beauty and I love you guys. So keep following me and keeping up. And if you have also, like I said before, have any questions, I'm an open book. I will answer anything that you have for me. So yeah, bye guys.